The human brain isn't very good at monitoring itself. It finds it especially hard to know when it's getting better at something. This is when our old friend feedback comes in. To make up for this reluctance to see progress, we must make sure that we get feedback. Keeping a learning journal is a great way of seeing what progress you're making towards your goals. Think back, you'll probably find that what was a goal, say last year, you hardly have to think about now. Your brain can't ignore the progress you're making when it's written down in black and white. So write down your goals and make a note of any progress you make each time you work on them. Maybe the best kind of feedback is from our mistakes. It's not pleasant, but it's powerful, it's raw and it's real. We should make use of it. So the next time you get something wrong, try to get into the habit of thinking, where did I go wrong? What can I learn from it? Criticism can be a good teacher too. It's another great type of feedback. So even if your experience of criticism in the past has been bad, try not to let that stop you from learning from it now. Most of the time when people point out mistakes we've made, they're trying to help and not to hurt. It's a hard thing to get right, so rather than react badly to it, try and take it on board and to use it. Feedback is the key to building connections in our brains and it's central to learning. So take every chance you can to look for it.